As a young boy, nature was something that inspired me. I was just living with my father. And he used to take me out in the field. He was a farmer. He was also a poacher. And then the headman appointed him as the, one of the first community game guard. This is the guy that has been elected to look after wildlife. One of the men who became a game guard told me the story that when he used to walk from one village to another. Along the way, he would see wildlife. He said it wasn't a long way to walk. But now that the wildlife is gone and he sees nothing along the way, it's a long way. During the 70s, commercial poaching started throughout Africa. By the early 80s, there was very little wildlife left in Namibia. With the colonial era, Wildlife is state property, so local people feel it's not of concern to them what happens to it. With independence, all that changed. What Conservancy does, it recognizes the local people as the gatekeeper to the area and their wildlife. It also gives those guys the right to manage and benefit from wildlife. Driven by the change in the mindset of community members, we've seen wildlife numbers start to rise all across the communal areas. If they're incentivized to manage those resources, then they're incentivized also to protect them. Tourism is fundamental to that process. What brings tourists to Namibia is our ecosystem and our biodiversity. But in everything comes with a cost. And the cost we're having here is a human wildlife conflict. The land remains the same. The human population is increasing. The wildlife population is increasing. But these two species, they have to share that land. People are putting up with the human wildlife conflict because they are seeing benefit from it. That's how the conservants are working. I'm very happy about this. I, I'm really, really happy. The incentives are a key part of it, but the sense of ownership is really critical part. We know in the past 18 months, we've had poaching incidents in our communal conservancies. The poacher was apprehended within 24 hours. That's a direct result of the community recognizing that these poachers are stealing from them. People talk about their wildlife with pride and they're true stewards of the wildlife. Conservation is working in Namibia. It's happening here, right here. I'm so passionate about conservation that it's, it's part of me. It lives with me. I think we are trying something that is unique and we are free to share it with the rest of the world. This is how we do it in Namibia. Mm -hmm.